Hi, this video is a continuation on the design of these shelves. And what I'm doing is I'm using the AutoCAD method from AutoCAD to CAMBAM to cutting it out. I, did, I didn't really explain this before in the initial video uh, that I'm doing this because a lot of my customers are having some trouble with understanding the whole process. So I want to give them um, an idea of, of what the entire process consists of. And I'm going to be making a lot of these videos so um, I can uh, use these videos to, to train how to use certain CAD systems, but also how to apply machining operations to uh, geometric primitives that have been created in CAD and then cutting it out. So let's continue with the part two of variation number two, using AutoCAD, then CAMBAM, and then cutting it out. So I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna copy this one. Actually, I wanna mirror it. So let me select it, and I can mirror it, M-I for mirror, from like a center, a midpoint of a line. And I can just, you can see how it could be mirroring from however I, move the cursor but if I move directly upward from the midpoint it looks like it doesn't actually go in the right place let's see where it does go and then I, it looks like it's at the midpoint or the center of these circles here so I'm gonna move it from this circle to this midpoint to this midpoint and I'm gonna use an, an inference to do that so I'm gonna look at the Under, yeah, that's point, or 5.5. Okay, let me get rid of that dimension. So I'm gonna do that to both sides here. And this way I can use this. Uh, let's see, yeah. I'm gonna mirror uh, with respect to this midpoint here. So I can get them on both sides. Okay, and I kind of want to, you know, I want this to be a plane here. So maybe what I do is uh, I'm going to offset this by 0.75 since that's the thickness of my material. Will that work? I'm going to move this to here and see if, if I move it 0.65. It starts to go into the circle. I don't think that's a big deal though because I can still put a cross dial here and still put a lot of material here. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to create um, a line here and I'm going to make another line exactly mirrored with respect to this cross dial. So what I'm doing is, and I'm going to trim with a TR trim, I usually press enter twice because I don't have any fences that I need to trim from. I'm just going to trim, 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 and trim. And if I want to trim all of these two, I don't want to actually, because I want to make this, I want to actually mirror that. I think I'm mirroring it, wait, I think it's between these two points. Let's try it. So let's mirror, and let's mirror from the midpoint of that. No. So it looks like I'm mirroring from the midpoint of this. Let's try that. Yeah, okay, that's interesting. Okay, so I'm mirroring from that. Yeah, that's right, because I moved it from one, because it was in the middle of here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and trim this. I'm going to move this one back. Actually, let me, I'm just going to draw a really quick line and make this a little bit faster using the L command. Move in the midpoint of the circle. I'm going to go up to a perpendicular because I have it snapped with perpendicular here. All right, so get rid of this line and I can trim between this line and this line so if I use TR and I select this line and I select this line and I press enter 
I can trim between those two lines. I'm going to do the same thing. Trim, but only from this line and this line. Let's see if that works. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so now I can uh, copy these. I'm just selecting. I'm not using the control or shift or anything. And I'm going to mirror with respect to this line here. And uh, let's see, offset 0.65, that's where I want the center of the... Actually, you know what? Why don't I just mirror the other ones? I could have done it all at one time. Let's mirror that. Okay, so now it's mirrored. Okay, so this looks good so far. I'm going to trim this point and this, or that line and that line. And this is what one of the shelves is going to look like. I think I kind of want to want to make it um, symmetric. Even though uh, I probably have this much room, um, it would be nice to just make it symmetric. So I'm just going to take this away. And it'll also give me a little bit more space to work with. So I'm going to mirror. I think the mirror midpoint was here. Yeah. I'm going to trim. Is TR and then I clicked on it twice. I'll delete that one, delete that one. All right, so that's good. So now it looks like a nice symmetric shelf. So I'll probably be making many of these. So now I want to make the uprights, the legs. So let's work on that. So let's see, how tall do I want this to be? I'm going to go check that real quick. It looks like I can make it as tall as 40 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just make some rectangles. Uh, you start with lines. I'm going to go 41 inches. What is the width of this? I don't want to go all the way because I like to leave a little, tiny bit of room. So 1.72, I'll go 1.7. So I'll do that with the width of the uprights 1.7 so I'm going to offset this offset 1.7 I use the O um, the O command and then I pressed 1.7 and there we go so I'm going to draw a line here at the end draw a line here and I want one actually at the very bottom so um, this is going to be 0.75 inches thick. So I want to make a circle at, I usually just draw a line to get ready for this 0.735 or 7.375. And I'll make a circle of 0.125 radius, which is a 0.25 circle. And I'll put one at the very top, so I'm going to do a mirror. So let's do that. Okay, so I got a mirror there. I have, uh, let's see, my shortest lead screw will probably be, probably be around 13 inches. So as long as I have one at the at the bottom and up about maybe a foot, let's do that. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go one foot, so 12 inches. That's good. Maybe every 12 inches. Let's see what that does. And maybe at the bottom I'll do uh, a couple, just in case I have some small ones. So I'll go six inches on the bottom. All right. So I'll do another 12 inches. Maybe the 12 inches, I'm going to do 24 inches. Maybe this determines the height. <clears throat> and I'll also know at each level is 12 inches, so I can uh, quickly determine the lengths of certain rods and screws and things like that that I have. I probably don't need this one. So what I'll do is... I'll just draw a quick line here, offset that 0.73 or 0.375. 
And now I'm going to I'll show you share with you another command that I like, and that's uh, fillet f, and then I use an r radius of zero. So what it's going to do is just going to create a right angle. So it's a quick and easy way to um, clean up this little area right here using the fillet command. All right, so I like this. This is uh, 12 inches, 12 inches, 6 inches, 6 inches. So that should be enough. Maybe I do 6 inches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What I'll do is I will create the holes, but I may not actually use them. I think that's probably a better idea. I'm going to use this as a mirror. And I'll do another mirror. Maybe I'll just put them on as I need them. Okay, so now I have them at every six inches. That makes sense to me. Okay, so I'm going to copy this four times. Actually, no, I don't need to do that because I can, I'm probably going to um, cut them out this way. I'll show that to you in, in Kanban. All right, so I have this. I'm going to go ahead and prepare this particular hole here because I could just make these two holes or I could do this. I could trim these out. Do trim, enter, enter, trim that. And then what I could do is I could do a fillet, a little fillet, just to make it nice and clean. F, R, let's do a point 0.1. Let's see what that looks like. That looks good. Okay, so I can still get a, uh, um, a cross dowel in here. I can drill that transverse hole to meet with a cross dowel. I should be fine. But I kind of I kind of um, like just keeping it alone, so I'm, I think I'm just going to do that. I, uh, this would be a standard profile, but there's really no need to do this, so I'm just going to undo what I just did. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and save this as a DXF file and put it into Kanban. File, save as. I'm going to save as, let's see, where do I want it? I want to put it in the OneDrive so I can access it from my other computer. I'll just put it in this folder. Okay, and I want a DXF file. So 2018 DXF. I'll call this the Vertical Material Holder. save that okay so it's gonna want me to save it in DWG as well it doesn't really matter I don't I really need a copy in DWG so I'll say no and now I'm going to open up Kanban thank you for watching in the next video I'll be showing the Kanban process taking the geometric primitives and applying machining operations on top of those if the video is short enough I'll put the machining part portion in there as well but this is kind of a question for you guys. Um, do you want me to show more long form videos or these shorter like 10 to 15 minute videos? When looking at tutorial videos or videos through training, it's, it's kind of difficult to, to grasp a lot of information at one time. So I kind of like to keep them at around 10 minutes. Leave me a comment uh, down below to tell me what you think and um, if the longer videos make more sense to you or should I continue doing the shorter videos? Thank you for watching.